When people across the world have been advised to stay indoors, Israelis are out and about on the streets. Over 2,000 people launched a protest from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's residence to the parliament to protest against the poor handling of the COVID-19 outbreak by the Israeli government. Police used water cannons to disperse the protesters. Ten people were also arrested. Police has accused the protesters of creating public disturbance. Demonstrators could be seen wearing masks, beating drums, banging pots and playing trumpets. All this while calling for Prime Minister Netanyahu's immediate resignation. In the series of demonstrations, Israelis are demanding a financial and medical aid package from the government to keep themselves afloat. This also comes at a time when Netanyahu's trial for alleged corruption and bribery charges has just resumed. Recently, the Israeli government reimposed measures to curb the deadly virus after witnessing a massive spike in COVID-19 cases. On paper, the Netanyahu government has also introduced several economic stimulus packages. But protesters say that due to the prevalent red tapism and corruption, the aid is coming too little too late. As part of the protests, many restaurant owners have set up free buffets for the demonstrators, demanding that their businesses be kept open or else given apt compensation. I protest against the one who is sitting over there and I am protesting against the law that they want to pass today in the parliament, in the Knesset. Uh, that uh, the PM is going to uh, get uh, power uh, and to uh, control everything.